Thank you very much and welcome to Games Master, the show which has made the 6.30 slot its own and is responsible for more sprained wrists than the lovely Julia Roberts. Everything you've always wanted to know about video games, but we're a wee bit too tight-fisted to buy a magazine about. Tips, reviews and game-playing challenges, the first of which will now be set by the man who put the round windows on play school, the Games Master. Good evening. So you think you have sufficient nows to master one of my little ruses? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? To start with, I'd like you to try your hand at duck tails. You have two and a half minutes to guide Scrooge MacDuck to the Himalayas. You'll need to rescue the helpless Bubba from his icy tomb and then retrace your webbed steps to escape from the cavern with the help of Launchpad. Two and a half minutes to guide Scrooge MacDuck through the Himalayas. Well, let's hope you are fit the bill. Now, DuckTales may look like a cute and rather fluffy game, but let me tell you, in the Himalayas, there's lots of dangerous chilly bits. Trying to keep warm and toasty for this challenge is Scott Andrew from Manchester. Welcome to Games Master, Scott. Thanks. Well, so have you been practising very hard at the game? Very hard. And you're very confident about the challenge? Very confident. Well, I'm very pleased to see you all because I think it's a very tough challenge, to tell you the truth. It gets quite tricky in some points. Yeah. OK, well, wish you all the best, Scott. If you'd just like to go and plunk yourself down in our hot seat there and get ready to start the game. Here, as always with me, is Jazz Rignall. He never seems to do anything else apart from perch with me up here. Um, Jazz, DuckTales is a very good game, quite a tough challenge. Yeah, it is. It's the, the game's not that difficult, but the challenge is, and uh, unless he hasn't mapped it out, uh, he's going to have trouble. OK, well, we've got every confidence in Ur Scott. Are you ready then, Scott? Off you go. Now, what's these first little things that Doc McScrooge has got to have? There's a horrible snow hair, and uh, he's got to use the pogo stick technique to uh, get rid of them, otherwise I'll uh, take his energy off. OK, well, he seems to be going at a fair old pace. He's obviously got to avoid this huge big ram here. And, um, but he's successfully manoeuvred that, he's ducked away from it instead of fighting it. Is that a good idea? Yeah, uh, if, if you mess it up, um, unless you're absolutely sure that you're going to hit it right. Oh my god, up, oh, falling right. down gaping chasm now, is he going to be killed? No, this, this, this is fine, he can uh, drop miles basically. He's going the right way, what, what, what it's all about is actually mapping your way through here. And he's going the right way. OK, well he has two and a half minutes to do the challenge and 30 seconds have gone already, so he's going very well, Jazz. Yeah, um, he's going the right route, as I said, and that's the most important. If you start getting lost or something like that, uh, you can end up spending minutes of your time to try and retrace his steps. So, uh, Always found one of his little nephews. Is that Huey, Dewey, Louie, what are they called? I forget what his name is, actually. <laughs> but uh, he gives you a clue and tells you uh, what you should do. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Jack. He just seems to be narrowly missing all these icebergs. I don't know how he's managing to miss them. Well, it's all right, he's picked up an invincibility pill, so uh, he's, he's safe there, you can go flying Now, who's through. this? I think he's actually found Bubba. He's found Bubba! OK, so that's... Um, so he's exactly halfway through the time limit now, and he's found Bubba, so he's well on course, Julian. He certainly is. He's got the jewel, he's got to find that helicopter, he's bouncing his way across. He's got to be more careful coming back, because he hasn't got the invincibility, of course. Right, I see. So he's obviously got to negotiate this snow here. And he's rattling away, but he's got... He's got one minute left, 60 seconds left here. It's going to get pretty tight here, Julian. Yeah, he's doing really well, and he could make it. Now he's just got to negotiate this huge big spider. It's going to be a problem, though. He's safely past the spider. He's over the hair. He's got 45 seconds left to go. There's a big rope. I think he's going to go, but he's going up the rope. He's bending there. He's got 30 seconds left. He's, he's, he's got ready. He's spider. He's spider. He's ready. There you go. Congratulations! Well done! Yeah. You made pretty short work of that challenge there. Yeah. Were you, were you nervous at all? Yeah, my legs are like jelly. <laughs> it certainly didn't look like us. I mean, I've never seen anybody get through that game so quickly. Well, the thing is, you know what that means, Scott? You have won what most people want more than anything in the world. One of our extremely special golden Games Master joysticks. Thanks. OK, Scott, so if you take that back to Manchester with you, I'm sure you'll have hours of enjoyment with it. Scott Andrews. OK, so while, so while Scott gets to grips with his large possession, let's go and check out the reviews of all the latest new games. 
Our three games this week are linked by the word funk. First up on the Mega Drive, structure surreal stuff with the console world's answer to Bill and Ted, the extremely laid back Toe Jam and Earl. It looks great, a uh, bit of humour, fantastic graphics, great sound, well, especially uh, appealing to a 12 year old kid. Toe Jam and Earl is a very good game graphically and very good musically as well, but it has very limited appeal and I feel you could get quite bored of it quite quickly. Good fun for a while, I'd say. Um, slickly put together, but not a lot of game in there. Next up, save the world with pure love in Top Banana. The game itself, it's got great music and, and the graphics are absolutely superb, but uh, that doesn't actually make the game, the playability isn't there. The theme of Top Banana is very environmental. It makes it for a different game, but all in all, it's just another platform with beat em ups in the middle. Seen it all before, really. And finally, Bart the Brat arrives on the Game Boy as you eat shorts and have cows with Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly. Wonderful game, both graphically and musically, with great speech and animation. Nothing particularly outstanding or new, but good fun, and if you like The Simpsons, you won't be disappointed in the game. Now for our preview section. They zapped you with Xenon, gifted you with gods, and enchanted you with magic pockets. The Bitmark Brothers are now back with the Chaos Engine. Renegade's Graham Boxall gives us a sneak preview. The Chaos Engine is the latest Bitmap Brothers production. It takes place back in the Victorian era, and your job will be to take six characters into a um, Victorian house to destroy the Chaos Engine. Your main character is who's controlled by the joystick, and then you've got two other characters who um, have got their own attributes, and although they mimic your movements, they'll follow you around. They've actually got, actually got special identities. The, the game's strongest feature is the fact that it creates a new gaming environment, taking the best actions of best elements of arcade games and combining them with role-playing games to create something that some, nobody has ever done before. And we'll wrap up this week's review section with a reminder about our Games Master Golden Goal competition on Kickoff 2. All you need to do is to save on disc moments when you sent the crowd wild with a Gaza free kick or a Mark Hughes volley. At the end of the series, we'll choose the best goal and the winner will receive two tickets to the Rumbleus Cup final. For more details about the competition and for any other information about the programme, you can call the Games Master Club. We'll give you the number at the end of the show. So, a somewhat mixed bag of reviews this week. But not to worry, for now we go on to our celebrity challenge. And here to tell us all about it is the biggest celeb of them all, the Games Master. Nice to see you again. I do hope you enjoyed that last little jaunt. What an extremely able young man he was. Time for some sports now, I think. Let's retire to the billiard room for some Green Bay's action on Jimmy White's whirlwind snooker. You'll have 90 seconds each on this most realistic of snooker simulations to amass the highest possible score. Only the colours will be on the table. They'll start over the pockets, but will be returned to their spots once they've been potted. Be the best man win. And for this challenge, young Christian Price from Nottingham will take on the game's designer, Archer McLean. And helping to provide expert ball-by-ball -ball commentary, is one of the most popular and successful figures in the game, the whirlwind himself, Jimmy White. <laughs> now, Christian, if I turn to you first, you're actually the national champion at this game. You must fancy your chances against the man who designed it. Yes, I do. You think you're going to take him? Yeah. Now, if I could go on to you, Archer, an excellent game you have designed. Surely you must know everything there is to know about it, and this will be no problem to you. I've got to talk to him for the tips first. <laughs> <laughs> and last but by no means least, Jimmy, you'll be joining me in the pulpit. Who do you fancy for this challenge? I don't know. I think it'd be even money, actually. I, I think I might fancy the kid. 
<laughs> okay, now, Archer, if you'd like to linger around in that pew there, Christian, take your seat in the game playing chair, and Jimmy, come up to the pulpit with me. Okay, so what's the general, any general tips you could give Christian? Um, well, mainly he just wants to get himself in a good position and just uh, hopefully, if he keeps his position, and carry on putting as many balls as he can and build up his break. Okay, Christian, are you ready? Then chalk your cue and get ready to pot those balls. Okay, now let's see what shot he's going to line up first. The time right. will start ticking away as soon as once he, he hits. hits the first ball. And it looks like he's lining up the black there in the bottom corner pocket, Jimmy. A good choice? Um, yeah, he's going to go for the black first. And then he's not going in sequence, obviously. So um, he's going to pop the black. And I think he's putting it plain ball, yeah. It looks like plain ball. Nice yeah. long stroke. Yeah. Oh, Took nice wet. Yeah, it's a bit of time, though, getting there. It's the run round. I'm going to try and uh, pop the pink now in the pocket. May may use a little bit of screw. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I think he's using a bit of bottom. A bit short, because he's going to screw back. And there he goes. Yeah, Ooh, and there's, wow. a little, uh, there's a little screw back, you see, there. Yeah. Now, what will hey. that enable him to do with this shot? Will it be positioned for...? Well, he's, he's, yeah, he's got his next position on this... Um, oh, you see that brown's covering the, the pocket? The brown's coming there. a bit awkward, yeah, but it looks like he's lining up just about perfect. I'm very pleased he chalked his cue before. <laughs> OK, he's halfway through the time there, 45 seconds. Oh! oh. May have fluked it in this pocket. Oh, the pink's coming back. Has it gone and in? Yes. It. yes! Different, but they all count. Nice little trick shot there. And he's just uh, lined this ball up again. I think it needs to come a bit higher. Oh, hopefully, he used a bit of screw as well. Yeah, he oh, just yeah. used a bit of... Oh, nice he used a stun shot, which is oh. tremendous. Chris is potting very well, but he's got only got 20 seconds left now. He's going to have to hurry now, Jimmy. See what he's going to Yeah, see hurry up. Yeah. yeah, he's lining up the pink again, a bit to the right now with the dive right. That's it, about there. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I think he should he's hit very it. very tense. He's got seven hit seconds in. left. He's got to pot this one. Yeah, great oh, shot. Oh, and that one's in. Does he have time to line up one more? Three, two, one. Oh, oh out of time, Chris, with a score of 31 points. Tremendous. Christian, would you like to swap places with Archer then? And if you'd like to find out if the game's designer Archie McLean can bet a Christian score of 31, please return to us after the break. Welcome back to our special Green Bay's Games Master. We're featuring Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker Challenge and the great man himself is with me in the commentary box. National Computer Snooker Champion Christian Price has just scored a break of 31 and now the games designer Archer McLean is about to see if he can top it. Archer, are you ready? Then chalk your cue and begin your break. Okay, now I see Archer's going for the... He looks like he's lining up the pink. Yeah, he's going to line Jimmy. up the pink. Uh, I think he may play this with top. Just so, uh, oh, he's, oh, stunned that ball stunned it, Yeah, very good shot. Now, is the room to squeeze he's the pink in here? The pink. Yeah, similar shot that Christian had. Uh, he needs to hit this straight. And he's uh, in length, bit of, uh, bit of screw just there. below bottom. Yes, oh, that's it. Right shot. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's bringing it round. They're all they're going to try and pot the pink. He may even attempt to go off the brown here. But I think he might just go straight to the pocket when he gets it round. Okay, here he goes. Yeah, oh, and he's sucked that one. He screwed points. it back. Tremendous shot. Screwed it back, leave himself a nice angle yeah. for it again. That's right. I think he's going to stay on this pink and score points from this shot. Because uh, he's already got it lined up. So he's uh, very clever what oh, he's done Oh, another nice one again there. Screwed it back a little bit. Oh, he's going to move it round, give it a bit of variety. He's now going to pop the black. OK, 37 seconds left. Oh, 31, he's, equal, he's now equaled Christian's score. It's all in this next ball. He's got 30 seconds left here. What's he going to go for, Jimmy? He's going for the uh, same shot again in the middle, but from the other side of the table. He's just going to stun it in. That's what yeah. he's done. Oh, and he's done it, and Archer has won. <laughs> now... Bad luck, Christian. 31 points. Very good score. Not quite enough. How do you think you could have scored better? A bit quicker. That's too slow. Archer, you wasted no time with those balls at all. What was the secret of your success? Well, I was lucky on that first pink, but it helps writing the game as well. So. Right, OK. And now I talk to our expert, Jimmy. Jimmy, a quick summing up of the game. The boy Christian did well, but not quite enough. No, he did very well, but um, 
Archie being a bit more experienced, he potted the same ball in the middle three times, which gave him a lot of points. But no, it was it was close. Right now, Archer, as our winner tonight, you win the best prize in television, a Golden Games Master joystick. <laughs> And now, before Jimmy pops off, we've got a special treat for you at home. We got the games designer, Archer McLean, to line us up a special trick shot that would test even Jimmy. So Jimmy, if you'd like to sit yourself in the hot seat and we'll see how you fare. Now, talk us through this shot we've set up for you. Right, um, where the arrow is pointing at this red here over the pocket, right. I'm gonna try, with the cue ball being based here, I'm gonna try and pot the red over the pocket which is like, looks, well, it is impossible actually, but I'm going to play a free ball plant. Right. So I'll just take this over to there. Okay, yeah. well, good luck, Jimmy. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Right. I should cannon it and knock the red in. Oh, brilliant! And a round of applause, thank you very much, Jimmy Ray! And now, while I pot a few pings with Jimmy, Let's go into Games Master's consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm very glad to see you. In Spider-Man, I can always reach the forklift boss, but he keeps ramming me. What am I doing wrong? Foolish boy. You really should have realized by now that you can't stop this particular rope if he's facing you. So you need to leap behind him and let him have it with your web. About ten times in total. That'll do it. Oh, great. Thanks. Bye. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? On level three of Turtles, I cannot jump over the gap without dying. How do I do it? You should have experimented a little, young fellow. The answer really is most simple. Walk straight over the gap and don't jump it at all. Things are not always what they seem. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Right, on to the next piece. Hello, Games Master. My son gave me Shadow of the Beast 2 for Christmas, and I'm finding it very difficult to get anywhere. Can you give me any tips or suggestions? If my memory serves me correctly, there are no shortcuts. But you can make life a lot easier by beefing your warriors up. Now listen. At the start of the game, walk to the right of the screen towards the pygmy. Once he starts pestering you, call up the question though and type in 10 pints. Your warrior will then be invincible. And all you have to do is to find your way around. Thanks very much. Well, you'll find it works. And that little revelation brings the session to an end. I do hope the advice is going to be of some use. Now we go on to our eagerly awaited third challenge. Let's go to Games Master. For the last of this week's little escapades, we visit our colonial friends in the Antipodes for an episode of Neighbours. The challenge is to take on and beat all comers in a scooter race around a place called Ramsey Street, avoiding potholes, roving kangaroos, an elderly lady known as Mrs. Mangle, and a plump jogger by the name of Harold. So keep your wits about you and try not to succumb to the banality of the plot. And to play this challenge, we're very lucky to have with us Neighbours' very own Matt Robinson. Please give a moist Games Master welcome for Ashley Pass. <laughs> welcome to Games Master, Ashley. How are you? I'm very well. Now, Ashley, we know all about the acting prowess of the Neighbours cast, but oh, what's yes. your game playing skills like? Not very good. Well, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I, I have like a like a video game thing at home, you know. So uh -huh. I might and be okay. You enjoy a waggle of your joystick now and then. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Oh, waggle whenever I can. Well, if you'd like to take your place in our game playing hot seat, Ashley, okay. we'll get ready to begin. I'm ready. And joining me in Lassiter's pulpit is Games Master's very own game playing expert, Dave Perry. Dave, welcome. Hi, Dominic. Now, you were saying to me earlier, you don't fancy Ashley's chances much at this. I don't at all, no. I don't think Ashley's going to get too far in this game, really. Um, it's very, very difficult to control, and um, Ashley's not much of a skateboarder, I don't think. Ashley, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Then off you go. 
And here we start there. Ashley's there pausing Ashley. a little bit at the start. Oh my okay, word, okay, he's okay, what that's Ashley on the red back side. Hey, oh, lovely little spot. L little oh, surfer there. There's, there's oh. Todd, Todd Landers with his car, bouncer, bouncing across oh, the road. Oh, and right into a rock there. Here comes Mrs. Mangle. Oh, out of the way, oh, Ashley. No. Ashley's <laughs> trying to run into Mrs. Mangle there. And he's safely passed Paul Robinson's car. Mrs. Mangle yeah. swiftly yeah. got there's down. Oh, and he's tried to do unmentionable things with a kangaroo Sorry. there. Came off the worst, <laughs> then he's in there for more. He's a bit mean, this kangaroo. He's. Not known so, for his hospitality. Ashley is actually lying in third place or last, depending on how you Th look at it. Third place in a three-man race. <laughs> I think Henry's up in front in his tractor. And Charlene's there somewhere in a go-kart. And there's Scott Robinson again with his uh, surfboard. There's an emu now. now. No oh, sign Ashley's of picking up a bit of speed now. Oh, oh, but it's right into another emu. And Ashley's having severe As you can see, there's a meter along the bottom of the screen there, the neighbor's logo. The white part is his popularity, and uh, as you go, his popularity is going down every time he oh falls dear. off. Oh dear, and what happens when his popularity reaches zero? He gets dumped out of the series and the game <laughs> over. Oh, Helen oh. Daniels with the pinning of Helen. Mrs. Mangle there. <laughs> Very Helen formidable Daniels, opponent. Known for, a known for a body check. Oh, and Harold, that's old fat oh, Harold no. jogging oh, along God, the road. I think Henry's won the race there. He's coming. Oh, Henry's coming first, Charlene's coming second. No, I so think I think they're... this is the long trek home for Ewan Ashley here. Yep, there's, there's Harold there. Harold's overtaken. Dez is there. Dez oh, seems to get around a bit oh in his car. He's just continually appearing Dez all over the place. everywhere. <laughs> and there's, there's Helen Shannon. again. She's walking around all over this Helen's street. had a bump on the head, I think. She's forgotten where she's going with Mrs. Mangle's portrait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Into the grass beds again. Doing untold damages to bonsai trees. Ashley Pass got Ashley. It's all over. <laughs> Ashley, yes. no. It's a little sad, really, wasn't it? People often yes. fail on Games Master, yes. but never in such a spectacular no, fashion. No, no. no I, I, it's the game. I'm sorry, it's the game. It's the game, it's the joystick, it's the whole thing. So what went wrong with the game? What's wrong? Well, I don't with know. It? It's just very hard. It's mm -hmm. just really quite hard to make a little skateboard man sort of go in the right direction, you know? All right. You didn't seem to go anywhere. A bit no. like the bit like the neighbour's plot line sometimes. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm very, very sorry, Ashley, but you walk away empty-handed. But I hope you've got lots of happy memories oh, of us here. Thanks very much, Dominic. <laughs> a round of applause again for Ashley Pass. <laughs> thanks, Ashley. <laughs> well, that draws proceedings to a close, but never mind. I've got my smoking jacket to keep out the chills and a lovely bit of assam in my mug. So keep your fingers on your fire button and we'll see you next week. Good night. Now for that information about the Games Master Club. We have newsletters, free t-shirts and competitions, including the Games Master Golden Goal Competition. The prize, two tickets to the Rumbelows Cup Final. The number to call, and please make sure you dial accurately, is 0891 600 123. Lines are open around the clock. <laughs>